Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty quick general reading for you. This is going to be messages that you're needing to hear. Let's see what messages come through for you today, Sagittarius. All right. happening for Sagittarius that they need to be aware of. Ah, uh, the tower. Okay, so definitely some shifts happening in your life. Unexpected. Okay. Um, all right, with the tower, it's like really um, indicating that things could end up looking really different after some type of moment. This is Scorpio energy, but there's some type of transitional... Um, energy going on here, okay? Show me more. Um, there could be something about a karmic cycle ending for you. Eight of Swords, yeah, karma with the eight, definitely. Um, and Scorpio is um, number eight as well. So something with um, transmuting some type of karma, there's anxiety about not being able to see what's going to happen next or not feeling what's going to happen next. Something about your um, you not being aware of the next cycle. Okay, so this is either causing you anxiety or this is just the fact, it's just that fact that you don't know what's happening after this cycle, but there's definitely a shift going on. Okay, there could be something that you learn or something that you hear, there's some type of moment, a power moment that changes everything. Okay. You could have been stuck somewhere for a while, not knowing how to get out, and now this tower moment is here to kind of shake things up for you, but things look completely different afterwards. Like, in this tower specifically, it's like, it's all being, like, torn up. It's all being brought up is what I want to say too. It's all coming out, okay? There, I, there's something about information. You could be learning something about someone. Let's say you're with a karmic partner, you're in a karmic situation, then you find out some type of information about this, these people or this person or this situation, and it, it kind of completely changes your whole view on, a, on your situation, okay? Four of Cups. Okay, there is a little bit of, like, the energy, the, what I want to say is, like, pity energy. So this could be you. This also could be somebody else that's having this, like, woe is me. Because that's what I heard immediately with the Four of Cups is woe is me. So this could be someone that you find something out about. Um, but it also could be you, you know, it, it depends. It's going to resonate differently for everyone, but there is some type of, like, my situation, like, kind of focusing on the poorer aspects of a situation, or losing someone, or losing something, or, yeah, someone's, like, really focused on what they don't have right now in this new situation. So if you left someone, let, okay, yeah, let's say you found something out about those those people, that person, that situation, and it kind of completely changes your whole view. It also changes, like, your future action because you have this new information. So it's changing your cycle. Um, those people could be focusing on what they don't have, a.k.a. you. If you're leaving a situation or something there also could be I want to say there could be a job that you've been you were stuck at for a while it could be there could be something about the number eight in general but you could have been stuck at a job for a while and you just kind of left they're not very happy about that <laughs> um, they're definitely like sour is how I want to say it Okay, you could have brought a lot of energy to a situation and you leaving kind of really um, messes someone up or messes something up. 
you not being there, your energy not being there. You could have been like a supplier of energy, okay? Oof. Gosh. I'm hearing like harvesting your energy. Like that sounds so extreme, but like it's like whatever karmic situation that you got yourself out of or that you're getting yourself out of. They were really like like taking your energy for granted. Show me more for Sagittarius. Um, there could have been something where you were kind of facing someone's karma for them, you leaving, now they have to face they have to face something on their own, okay. King of Pentacles. Can I have a card with this? Ooh. You're not giving your energy away anymore. Is what I want to say to you. Ten of Cups. Okay. So this feels like something coming into your situation. Or uh, someone, really. It also could be... It could be something, too, like... You could, you, you're in the position now where you can like start your own business. It's something that you're really passionate about. There's something like that where you're in a position now where you can, you can start working on your true desires here. You can start working on manifesting your true desires and putting energy and effort into your true desires and being the leader of that. Um, this could be you taking on this energy. This also could be you manifesting this energy in like an outward person. Um, especially with the Ten of Cups, this could be, like, someone who really wants to, like, be committed. Like, if you're leaving a relationship-type situation, there could be something... Even if you're not leaving a relationship-type situation, like, with the King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, like, this is, like, a masculine energy, committed energy. Um, that's, like, a long-term type energy um, where there's a lot of happiness and there could be something about marriage and, you know, like, a long-term relationship. That combo just kind of screams that to me. Okay, let's get some more messages for you in this deck. just do we have for Sagittarius? What else are we talking about with Sagittarius? Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah. There's something where you like escaped, like you got you got out of something, like you could have got gotten out of something at the right time, like the exact right time or something. Um, there's also, and this isn't for everyone, but there's also, like, something where you found out that someone was kind of, um, like, very non-committal. Like, someone could have been, like, a, like, how, like, a serial cheater or something. Like, someone was, like, really bad. Okay, there could have been something like that. There's something that was... Yeah... We've been noticing the little lamb in this one for the first time in the bottom corner. There's something where someone like you like you saw this person with your own eyes like doing something or you got some like concrete proof or something that kind of completely changed your whole perspective of a person. You could have walked in on someone, or you just like blatantly saw something, like in action. 
Okay, you could have even, like, this doesn't even have to be, like, a cheating karmic person. It could be, like, you saw, like, a, even a friend do something, or you saw, like, someone at your work or your boss or your business partner do something or something like that. Like, you saw someone do something, and it, I feel like it completely changed your view. There's something where you were, there was, like, like, an innocence about you prior to knowing this, or you viewed someone as innocent prior to knowing this or something like that. This tower can come on and change things very quickly. That's uh, with the Knight of Wands coming out. That's definitely an indicator of that. Things can change very quickly. And it's because of something shaking something up, like information. Or just clarity or knowing of something. There's a Queen of Coins. Um, what I want to say is, like, in this, like, karmic situation, there was, like, you were lacking access to certain abundance that was, like, rightfully yours. This could be, like, very energetic. Like, I could be saying that in a very energetic, spiritual way. It also could be something, like, that manifested in the physical. Like, you couldn't have something. Like, you couldn't... You weren't receiving something while you were with this person. Or you weren't receiving something while you were in this place. Whatever this is for you, it's like you weren't receiving something that was owed to you. Um, also, um, you are cutting people off from your energy is what I'm getting. Like, like you aren't giving it away. Like you're giving, like you're holding it for yourself. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting with the Queen of Coins. I was even kind of getting that with the King of Pentacles. Like you're giving it to yourself. The people that you leave behind, or the person, or the situation that you leave behind, like, I feel like it could become very stagnant or very, um, like, there's something that comes to a halt, like, payments come to a halt with this, or, with them, or something, or, or they, like, you're cutting them off from your energy, so it's, like, the energy they were receiving, like, like I was saying earlier, I feel like you were supplying something to the situation that, like, without you, it would be, like, there would be no energy, there would be no money, or there would be no, there would be nothing, or something like that. Like, you were giving everything to this, it was run, it was running off of your energy, okay? I hope you know what, what I mean. There's something where you're manifesting, like, your match, or you're manifesting, like, coming together with your masculine energy. Show me more for Sagittarius. More messages for Sagittarius, please. Page of Cups. Okay. Um, you're like, you did or you're going to like receive like, the people that you leave behind, you might receive messages of them trying to like, either get you to come back or trying to trick you in something or... Or they're trying to, there's something where they're trying to give you some type of doubt about moving out of this space. Like, it's the type of energy that I'm getting is like, you're nothing without me, you're nothing without this, whatever this thing is. <laughs> you're nothing without it. But, like, I feel like you kind of are aware that they're just trying to get you to stay, they're just trying to trick you. With this Page of Cups, I'm very focused on the little rabbit trying to loop around his foot. I wanted to focus. Yeah. I'm very, like, whenever I see this card, I'm always drawn to this here. But it's kind of like, you're just kind of like, oh, like, that's kind of cute, or 
there's something where you're like looking down on this person or these people or something like that like not in a not in a bad way I guess it is all of it would be ego but like almost like not like I guess more in a spiritual way than I would say in an ego way you know you um you could have like a lot of compassion for these people regardless of like there could have been some like bad information that came out about the situation and you still you weren't um Um, I don't know, you weren't like tr pl trying to hold a grudge, like you're trying to like let it go, you're trying to release it. Like you're not vengeful or something like that. Wow. Uh, the Empress and the Ten of Wands. Okay, I want a card for this Ten of Wands here. Two tens. Definitely the end of a cycle for you. Definitely the end of something um, that looks like it was very, like, meek, difficult, grayish. Um, you know, I love this Ten of Wands, too, even. Because I feel like it's, like, with the skull and everything, it's, like, there's a death, it's a ten... It's an ending, but there's still, like, growth that comes out of it. There's still beauty that comes out of it. I want a card for this Ten of Wands, but the Empress here. Lots of abundance, divine feminine energy. Um, there's someone that appreciates you for the Empress that you are, that you're going to be coming together with, meeting. Um, or there's... Like, there's some type of appreciation that you are, uh, how I want to say it is like destined to have or that you're meant to have. First of all, you'd be giving it to yourself. So like recognizing, like and appreciating yourself. But I feel like there's some type of outward like appreciation from a person or from something that you're going to be receiving. Um, like they view you as you are. Show me what the show me about this ten of wands. Can you clarify this ten of wands, please. Dropping finally dropping burdens for some of something. Yeah, the moon. Finally dropping burdens. Finally dropping um, the anxiety about not knowing what comes next, not what not knowing what happens next, or like being like too. Um, cautious with action or making changes in your life and not basing it on just how you feel what your heart says you know what your intuition says like really listening to yourself and not worrying so much like and not having so much fear about what's going to happen next or what happens down the line or what does my situation look like in the future there's something about kind of maybe being in the moments um enjoying the moment that you're in and letting go of any burdens or burdensome patterns of thinking. Trusting and having faith in the unknown. There could have been a lot of stagnancy due to the fact that you didn't know what was going to happen next or you didn't know what your situation would look like or you didn't know if if like removing this thing from your situation would make things harder for you. If your heart is saying to do something, I feel like you're you're better at listening to it now or something like you're better at listening to your intuition, you're better at listening to your guides or whatever you connect with. I feel like you're also finally seeing yourself as the empress, even the emperor energy. Like you're finally seeing yourself as like, like with like the divinity that you have. I'm seeing a bigger picture. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Sagittarius. I really hope that if this resonated with you, it provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation. Um, best of luck as you go through it, and lots and lots and lots and lots of love to you as always. Bye.